My name is Shafiq Varani. I'm a professor of Islamic studies at the University of Toronto. I want to talk to you about why the best way to fight Islamophobia is through education, with weapons of mass instruction. When six peaceful worshippers were murdered at a Quebec mosque, it was horrifying, but sadly, not surprising. A recent abacus poll reveals that Muslims face more discrimination than any other group in this country. Hateful stereotypes of Muslims are rampant in news and in pop culture. A study of about a thousand Hollywood films with Muslim or Arab characters found only 12 that depicted them as good people. 12 out of a thousand. There's something deeply disturbing about dehumanizing 1.7 billion people across the globe, of demonizing one quarter of humanity. That's why I'm calling on governments and civil society to invest in education, to attack ignorance with weapons of mass instruction. 90% of religion departments at North American colleges and universities don't have a single specialist in Islam. And our schools teach little about Muslim civilization. And when I say civilization, I'm talking about how we teach trigonometry, not theology. For example, teachers might explain that Muslim mathematicians developed some of the most elegant proofs of the Pythagorean theorem. That the very words algebra and algorithm come from Islamic culture. That the most foundational medical textbook ever is Ibn Sina's Canon of Medicine. Next time you grab your morning double-double at Timmy's, remember that we get the word coffee from Arabic. From the stunning architecture of the Taj Mahal to the magical stories of the Arabian Nights, there's so much we've gained from Muslim civilizations. In 2015, Jewish communities were reeling from attacks in Europe. So Muslims formed a ring of peace around the Oslo Synagogue to keep Jewish worshippers safe. After the Quebec massacre, it was a rabbi who organized Canadian Jews and Christians to form similar rings of peace to protect Muslims. Such humanity is inspirational. But combating hatred before it strikes any misunderstood community anywhere in the world will require those weapons of mass instruction. A pluralistic education will create a more tolerant world, the type of world all of us want. For The National, I'm Shafiq Varani.